America, not influenced by the MU barrier. Let me introduce you to the Gabino flight system. With an aircraft that can be configured with 16 seats and two or more litters, we start our flight as a helicopter. Liftoff for this particular mission, a combat search and rescue mission, we can lift off a hospital ship or a confined area, an airfield not being a requirement. Forward flight is entered into as a helicopter and speeds in excess of the stall speed of the wing. The rotor system is retracted, letting the aircraft enter into a fixed wing configuration. Thus, we are always in control of the aircraft. After our transition to forward flight as a fixed wing aircraft, with the helicopter part of the aircraft removed from the flight envelope, we continue our flight as a fixed wing aircraft and are not hampered by the anomalies created by the MU barrier of the helicopter system. We continue our flight to our destination as a fixed wing aircraft as fast as the parasite drag of the aircraft will allow. Upon reaching our destination, in this case the site of hurt personnel, we slow to above wing stall speed, deploying the rotor system at the same time bringing the aircraft to a hover. We can then lower our lifting device, penetrator or litter, and recover our subject. We bring him into the aircraft, to go into helicopter forward flight, and again above wing stall speed retract our rotor system, removing it from the flight path. We can fly to an offshore hospital ship, an inland airfield with a hospital, or anywhere within a radius of 1,200 miles, and land in whatever configuration required helicopter or fixed wing without refueling. This aircraft is equipped with a refueling probe and can be refueled in helicopter or fixed wing mode. With drop tanks, the range is 1,800 miles. Within flight refueling, the aircraft can continue on a 3,600 mile flight. It can land or take off conventionally. It can take off as a helicopter and land conventionally. or it can take off conventionally and land as a helicopter with any combination required for the mission. This aircraft is also quite capable of defending itself in a hostile environment. With four wingtip mounted stingers, two Hellfire missiles, and a GAU-19 50 caliber in the nose, this small agile aircraft can hold its own. It has been designed for survivability with its four engine design. Any one single engine will complete the mission. Two engines drive the rotor system, one will fly the aircraft. Two Williams jets power the aircraft in a fixed wing mode. One engine will complete the mission. Any one engine will complete the mission in its mode. In the unlikely event all four engines should be made inoperative in flight, the aircraft is quite capable of a conventional dead stick landing. Should the blades be in retracted position, the blades can be extended without the need for engine power. Once extended, the aircraft is now capable of a safe landing into a confined area through auto rotation. Should the wings and control surfaces be damaged, the aircraft is capable of completing the mission as a helicopter. In the unlikely event that both wings and control surfaces are damaged and both engines in the helicopter mode are damaged, the aircraft is still capable of continuing flight in an auto gyro mode to a safe landing and even a takeoff if necessary. This craft proves to be the most survivable aircraft in a hostile environment. It can fly on one engine as a helicopter, it can fly on one engine as a fixed wing, and it has the capabilities of performing as an autogyro when all else fails. The goal of this aircraft is to complete the mission and get home safely. In our combat search and rescue mission, we have recovered our personnel, refueled in air, and continued to a safe landing far from any hostile environment. The scenarios presented to this project are without a doubt the most challenging ever presented to an aircraft. It has without fail handled each and every one of them successfully. We at Gerbino Flight Systems have been proud to present our project to you.